Hi fans, welcome back to Scrap Skills. In today's video, we learn how to make this very necessary moving background uh, project in Scrap We will use this background in many types of games that we are going to make. Art, animation, games. If you need to make those kinds of things, you will surely one day need this beautiful thing. Moving backdrops. Isn't it so beautiful to look at? And trust me, it'll be really easy too if you join me in this video. So without further ado, let's go and start coding. The first thing I want you to do is get rid of the scratch cat. And also name the project as background. Background moving. Or moving background you can name it anything you want and then go choose the flying cat or cat flying yeah it's called a cat flying and now will be the thing that you get most confused in so we usually take backgrounds to move but in backgrounds we don't have the necessary things and mostly the motion blocks to do it that's why we will use sprites as backgrounds so how to do this is go to the paint option in a sprite column and then take the rectangle and draw a scenario not a rectangle like take take the rectangle and draw a nice way of grass and then a square of mm, blue as the sky and then take the paintbrush option and change the font to something like 65. Set the saturation completely low and start polka dotting with a bunch of them bumbled up together. This will cause you making a fluffy, bluffy cloud. And now comes the part I've been waiting to tech telling you all take the circle option change the color to a grayish color draw the circle and then go for the tool beside the selecting tool there you'll have four kinds of dot use the one pointing towards the south to like get tucked in tuck it like this then you can just adjust it nicely like you want yeah yeah okay I'm just gonna try to adjust it once more because it went too deep in yeah good enough next drag it to the screen where you want to place it and voila you have got your very own cute little rock isn't that one cute thing? Yep, it is. You have no limit of how many rocks you can add or how many clouds you can add. Just keep on adding it if you like them. Yeah, so now we're done with the background scenario. Now let's go to the coding. So when game flag clicked, go to X0 and Y0. And we always wanted to stay in the back layer okay so we want to keep that in mind next go to the control and use the forever and if then block inside the forever we'll need a change x by minus five but why will it change the x by minus five to do that we'll use wait a second inside the forever loop we'll want the minus five now why will we use the if then so we'll go to the operators and use a smaller than block inside that we will add a change i mean the x position block from the motion category and beside that we'll write minus 460 yeah so if then this action is done what it should do is go to x minus 4 um, 65 
uh, or not minus, I mean 465, and y to 0. Let's try this out, how it works. Okay, so far so good. Oh, it worked! Woohoo! I am so happy that it worked. Now, it did not work completely, might be your thinking, because there is this big white area, which actually shouldn't be there. So, for that not to be there, what we want to do is we would want to duplicate this and just change the go to to 475 and the y2 minus 1. Let's try this out. And voila, it worked. Woohoo! Yay, yay, yay. And you can just go to the costumes of the background too. And you can change some things. Um, you can also delete the blocks and then add some other things like some plants or anything you like. Okay, I'm just going to add a small plant. Yeah, just beside the rock. Okay, good enough. Let's try this out. Oh, woohoo! That is so successful. So cool. I am loving it. Isn't it so satisfying to know when your things work out like this one? So, if you like this video, do like, subscribe, and comment down. And do not forget to share a share to spread the awareness of Scratch. How to move a background. So, meet you in my next video. So, goodbye for now. Bye, friends.